Now, if you are thinking about genetic factors, how do we improve the genetic factors? Now, you most of the farmers in this country and world over have heard the word specific pathogen free stocks which they develop spf now spf again is something which we need to understand very clearly one cannot think that if a specific pathogen free stock is brought and you're going to culture that they're going to be resistant to all diseases an animal continues to be specific pathogen free only until it comes in contact with the pathogen now many of the pathogens are very established in our aquatic system because they have been diseases that have existed for so long now that you find them in the soil, you find them in the water, you find them in other carriers in the aquatic environment, be they uh, zooplankton, they may be passively carried by the phytoplankton and therefore there is never a state that you are not going to find that particular organism, be it a bacteria or a virus in the aquatic environment. And therefore this word specific pathogen free which they make the animals and at a very high price we buy it but then the farmers get sometimes uh, very I should say mm, depressed when they find that the SPF stock is not really pathogen free that is because if they understand that once it is released into the environment it comes in contact with the pathogen and the SPF status is lost and therefore our focus in our country as well as those countries which experience these diseases regularly has to be on specific free, specific disease-free tolerant stock, SPT as we say, you know. So these disease-free stocks are better and you select a resistant stock from what has survived when a disease has occurred. Now, having said all of this, let us look at environment factors which are most important in bringing, a, I should say, devastation. We find diseases coming about when there is temperature variation. So there are some diseases that are more serious during summers. Many of them like the white spot syndrome virus of shrimps are devastating during the winter season, which means your temperature and your environmental factors, the water quality, all of this has a bearing on the outbreak that takes place. Now, many times we have no control over this, but certainly we can think of reducing the loss that would come about these through these natural changes in the environment come about by enhancing the immunity of the animal through use of immunostimulants as well as to keep a low stocking density at times when we know they would be more vulnerable and if we um, in any culture system whether it is going to be aquaculture livestock culture poultry culture see a business enterprise always in this kind of culture system uh, allows the business bodies to produce more and more animals in short time, putting a lot of inputs. And all this is contrary to what is going on in nature. And therefore, there is so much of disease outbreak that comes about because of that. So we need to control the number of animals we stop to have it sustainable.